Welcome to Forerunners Pilates with AB. I have a brand new pre-run activation sequence for you. We're going to warm up through the hamstrings, the glutes. We're even going to get into the thoracic. We have some high knees to get the knee drive happening, the feet, the ankles, the calves. You name it, we've got it. It'll only take a few minutes of your time and you'll run much smoother and much faster for it. So we'll start here on our backs, nice and comfy. This one, you do want to have a bit of a mat underneath you just to get yourself nice and comfortable. And in our lunges, you'll need a little bit of pressure under the knees. So from here, we'll start with our fingertips to our temples, our elbows nice and wide float. Your right leg just off the mat, just an inch, you have your left heel planted. From here, drive your right knee in as you lift your hips. Slowly lower to gently tap your right heel as you lower down. So it's a single leg bridge with a knee drive. And we're gonna add a little finger tap to the knee. So one hand comes across to gentle tap and slowly back down. So we're just getting a little bit of opposite arm, opposite knee. We are gonna go for a little bit of an isometric hold to warm up the tendons. But for now, we're focusing on hip extension on the left. We have knee drive on the right. And we're just warming up through the spine as well. So just taking it nice and steady on the way up and the way down. You don't want to be rushing it. You want all the muscles to have a chance to really fire up. You have two more we hold at the top. And on your next one, lift, hold, keep your hips level. Left glute on, reach your left palm to your right knee. Push the palm into your knee, isometric hold and resist against it for five, four, three, two, and one, the heel comes down, the hips lower down, we come straight to the second side. So from here, hovering your left heel just one inch off the mat, start to drive your left knee in as you lift your hips, slowly lower your hips down. So again, we're working on the right glute, right hamstring, but also that left knee drive. So you want a nice high knee, but you want a nice stable hip and pelvic alignment. We'll add in that palm, so that right fingertip and palm comes across to tap the inside of that left knee. And you want to just glance down just to make sure your pelvis is staying nice and steady. So you've got stable hips, your arms reaching across. You're getting a double bang for your buck here because you've got your left side working as well as your right. And soon to get just a little bit of warm up for the tendons. They love a little bit of a hold under tension. So in four more reps, we'll go for that five second hold, resisting adduction on the left with your palm on the right. Last two reps here. And on your next one, lift your hips, palm comes across the inside of your knee. Resist against it there as hard as you can for five, four, three, two, and one. The heels come down, slowly lower your hips, take your arms wide, just flush it out, a little windscreen wipe up from side to side. Next up, we're gonna get into the thoracic as well as those deep stabilizers of your hip. So come across onto your left side here. You're stacked elbow underneath your shoulder. You've got your knees bent. And for here, I want you to take your fingertips to your temple, your elbow lift and lift up through your oblique. So that right leg will lengthen. Taking that heel slightly back. First of all, we're gonna take that right elbow down, twist and rotate through that middle back. We wanna open up through the lungs and the chest. So the elbow sits just on top of that wrist. And this is the fun bit. As you lift your elbow back to centre, push off through your left elbow, drive in through your right knee. And then slowly lower as you rotate. So there's a lot happening here. You're getting thoracic rotation, knee drive, and definitely glute on the left here. So twist, drive, return, lower. And your eye gaze will come forwards as you lift. Eye gaze will lower as you twist. And you'll be feeling that left side waist as well. Running is very much a full body sport, so you wanna make sure that you're getting your shoulders, your core, your hips all warmed up together. We're gonna to go for four more here and hold the last one at the top. You've got three, it's not Pilates unless we pulse. So we're gonna sort that out in two more reps. Two. And on your last one, Hold yourself up, come back into your twist, 
extend your leg and just hover the elbow an inch off that left side wrist and then pulsing into that right heel for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and you're done. Those glutes nice and warm, obliques, shoulders nice and loose. Straight into a plank position. We just dust it off here using a little bit of foot, ankle and calf. So coming up into a full plank, shoulders steady, feet hip width apart, lengthen through your neck. And then from here, just start to prance through the feet. You want to drop one knee, push one heel back. Drop one knee, push one heel back. So we're just getting a little bit of length through the Achilles, the calves. Just trying to keep your shoulders really steady core nice and tight. So you're getting a bit of warmth through the upper body and through the torso, but getting a bit of range, a bit of strength through the feet. You've got five. We are going to go for a single leg, five on each side. Three, two, one. Come back to your center plank. Just lift off your left heel to bend. From here, five calf rises on the right, lifting forwards. Dropping back, four to go. Lifting forwards, dropping back. Last three. Two, we'll go straight to the other side. One, from here, center on up your feet. Right heel lifts, keep it bent, shoulders stacked. Five calf raises here on the left. Five, getting full range through the ankle. Four, strength through the shoulders. Three, stability through the core. Two and one. From here the toes come down, the knees drop, tailbone back to your heels, stretch your hands forwards. You go for a little child's pose, a little sway side to side, release your shoulders and you're here for three, two and one. Walk your hands back to your knees, dust it off, come straight onto your right side here. We're going to even up that thoracic work twist at the glute med stability. So you've got your left legs extended, right shoulder directly on top of that right elbow. Fingertips to your temple, lift up through your chest. And then from here, we'll start with that one rotation. So the elbow comes down just to hover, just off that wrist. And then from here, as you push up, I want you to drive your left knee forwards, lift up through your elbow, drive that heel back as you twist. So there's a bit going on with this one. You're getting mobility through the upper body, strength through the torso and the lower body. And you wanna make sure as you're doing it, you're really pushing the hips up so you can really get the stabilizers on that right side. That left foot shouldn't touch. So you wanna make sure with that left foot, it just comes back in line with your hip. And that eye gaze here will make a difference too. So you wanna glance down as you extend and forwards as you bend. So you'll be starting to feel both side glutes here working. One, just working on your knee drive at the front, and then one, stabilizing and pushing the hips up. We have three to go, we'll hold. One little round of pulses. Two, last bit's the best bit. One, from here, coming right to the top. That's it, and extend the heel. Hover that elbow just one inch off that right wrist. 10 seconds of little tiny pulses with that left heel for nine, eight, shoulder steady, seven, core tight, six, five, four, three, two, and one. The knees come together, unravel, roll off your shoulders. One final little bit here, coming back into your plank position, tuck your toes under, widen through your feet, slightly wider than before, lengthen through your neck and just walk your palms all the way back to your tippy toes. Just a little hamstring stretch here. And when your fingertips get to your toes, take your left hand towards your right side ankle and reach that right arm up towards the ceiling. You've got three, two straight across the other side. One, thoracic rotation, getting that arm swing fired up. Left arm reach, twist and open for three, two, one. Back to center, slowly rolling all the way up to standing. One vertebra at a time. And just to make this a little bit more functional, a bit more run specific, we're gonna finish with a little bit of lunge action. So standing with your feet hip width apart. Now this is a deep lunge. So you're gonna be standing on your right side foot, hover off your left leg. 
I want you to take that left leg back, but tuck your toes under, get that whole knee down to the mat, and I want you to come straight back up and drive the knee. So this gives you a bit more range rather than coming back onto your toe. I want you to come the whole way back onto your knee and then drive. We're gonna add some running man arms here to try and get that arm core leg connection. And the goal is one day, if possible, is to be able to lower the whole way down onto the knee so the knee actually touches at the same time as the ankle. So that way you're getting really good strength, depth and range. And I want you to see if you can keep your chest up tall, elbows nice and relaxed, just gliding past your ribs. And we'll go for four more here. So just firing up that single leg activity. Last three, left knee lifts, chest nice and tall for the last two. And here we go, very last one, driving all the way up. Nice and steady, straight to the other side. So shake it off, standing on your left side leg, you have your right knee lifted, taking it back nice and slow for your first one, getting low, knee will tap, and then knee will drive. So pelvis staying nice and square, getting that full range down, full range up. We're gonna add those arms back in. Opposite arm, opposite leg, drive the arm as you drive the knee slowly back down. So these little activation sequences are perfect to sort of get all the muscle groups fired up without fatiguing you too much. Just stoking the coals, getting it ready for your run. So you can run smooth, fast and efficiently. You've got four more here to go. See if you can keep the arm swing in check as well and get that knee dropping as much as you can in line with the ankle. Last two reps here. Finishing off with a nice high knee for your very last one. Last rep done. Feet come down, shake it off. You are warm, you are ready for your run. Let me know how you go. I hope you enjoyed your session of Pilates with AB. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe and follow the link below for more exercise snacks, mobility tips and runner special sequences. Enjoy.